So that for my next challenge. This one could take a few different videos because I don't expect to get this first time out. So that for my next challenge. This one could take a few different videos because I don't expect to get this first time out. Um, I'm looking for the kingfishers. Um, now I know there's lots of places you can go to, lots of reserves you can go to where you know you're going to find kingfishers. But my challenge is to just find one. Okay, I know reserves are out in the wild, but even more out in the wild, where you don't expect to see them all the time. Um, just picking a spot on the riverbank that looks like it might be useful and, and it might, looks like it might have some perches uh, where the kingfisher would be interested and plenty of food for them to eat. Um, so yeah, that, that's my challenge now. As I say, I'm not going to get it on the first video, I don't think. Uh, it would be nice if I do. Um, but it'll be a bit of a series, so a bit of a, a, bit of a kingfisher chase, see whether we can find them and see whether we get some photographs and video of them. Uh, so keep following along. Um, and even if I don't get any kingfishers in each of the videos, what I'll do is I'll post um, what photos I do get, so at least you can see, hopefully, what you think are some nice images along the way. So let's see what happens. I'm using a, a 100-400 lens with a 1.4 teleconverter on the uh, 5D Mark IV. Um, we're shooting at uh, 1250th of a second, ISO 640, uh, and an aperture of f8, which is the uh, largest aperture I can get with this uh, with this setup with a 1.4 converter on. But nice bright light, so um, it's not a problem. And the reason I'm using the high, slightly higher shutter speed, uh, just in case anything flies by, um, then I can pick that up. Um, but if, if it comes to something uh, gets stationary in front of it, I might just drop the ISO down um, and uh, just uh, drop the shutter speed down as well, just so we can uh, try and get some cleaner images um, at the lower ISO. But, uh, 
that's not too much of a problem with the with the 5D Mark IV. Um, no sign of the Kingfisher yet. Um, I think it's looking pretty unlikely to be honest this morning. episode 2 to see whether we can find it next time but um, yeah, 15 minutes you never know it might turn up yet so we'll see what happens it from me today guys um, no no sign at all of the king which did hear one in the distance but you know not even a flyby today so um, looks like we're gonna have to move on to episode two of this chase for the kingfisher and, and see what happens um, as you know I'm pretty stubborn so I don't give in easily so um, hopefully um, we can we can get some uh, shots of it at some stage um, so keep tuned to the channel uh, drop a like on the video, uh, I'll drop a few images in so that at least you can see. We've seen a few things today, the herons, the egrets, um, I think a nice picture of that, uh, a mallard actually flying by, it was quite quite nice in the early um, early light. Um, so yeah, keep tuned and uh, let's, uh, let's see what we can find next time, so bye for now.